She lives in this home right behind me. This is her fence on the floor just right beside me and just a few feet away over here. This is all that's left from that fire. People are trying to drive through this. Is it possible? Can you tell them? Ask them to. Yeah, yeah. So, so we'll have Connor pan over here to see uh, just how deep this is. As of right now, no one's trying to drive through this. Well, as you can imagine, it was a very emotional prayer vigil uh, here at the Regal Cinemas in Strawbridge this morning. This has got to be one of the most emotional parts in all of Charlottesville. That area where Heather Hyer was hit and killed is just a few blocks away from where I'm standing right now. At this intersection here uh, that you mentioned where Pernell Whitaker was hit and killed last night, this is a makeshift memorial that's been growing today. Uh, as fans continue to come out here. This memorial uh, at the police station continues to grow day by day. As you can see how big it is, getting lots of flowers and messages here. It's a contagious vibe at the boardwalk this July 4th. Between the bands, the people, and... Less gleaming. Donnell Charity. I like to play some music, dance around. After seven July 4th weekends working at Flamingo Joe's on 16th Street. Ice cold, snow cones, beat the heat with a tasty treat. He's got this down pretty well. well. Quite honestly, I'm having a great time. Everybody's out here having a good time. It's just, I'm an extension of their good time, essentially. <laughs> and he means okay. it. You're not going to take it? You're not going to take it? <laughs> Donnell helps pour into the holiday scene in Virginia Beach that visitors love. It's such a family atmosphere and everyone is having a good time. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of people, but everybody's having a great time. It's nice. I love it. The weather. You know what I mean? It's those people. Oh, fresh squeezed lemonade? Yeah. Yes, sir. Who Donnell on this 4th of July. All natural lemon, yeah. all that good stuff. Comes to work for even with another full-time job and serving in the Army Reserves. Love, people love ice. They love their ice. And the shaved ice, we all know, is the best ice. There's a saying, I don't want to say it wrong, but pretty much, if you do what you love, you don't work a day in your life. And I'm paid to be here. Yee -yee. So the hot dogs will cost beach visitors three bucks. Sounds ready. A chicken Philly goes for seven. Ah! But this angelic voice of VB <laughs> won't cost a dime yeah, right if Donnell's there. behind the grill. Problem, yeah, have fun. In Virginia Beach, she knew her. And another satisfied cuss. 13 News Now. Yeah, it's too real. Even with the rain coming down. The city of Virginia Beach is one great big family. The Regal Cinema's parking lot in Strawbridge was busy. Full of people who were hurt, confused, sad. It's a very important thing. There's a lot of healing that needs to be done. Among them was Joseph Scott. I've been with Public Utilities for about 12 years. I've been with the city for 37. A longtime Virginia Beach city worker. He, like the rest of the people at Lifehouse Virginia Beach Church's prayer vigil, was looking to be with others like him, others who needed a little support. We are a powerful group of people. This is a very important gathering. I've seen a lot of people out here from the city that I haven't seen in a long time, and it's good to see them, and we are a big community. And perhaps that's what hits hardest for Joseph, knowing some of those community members were killed in the shooting at the Municipal Center Friday evening. I lost at least six that I've worked with for years. There is no way to talk about that. So, I can't answer that question. Joseph left the building for the day just moments before the shooting and on his way out said bye to the suspect, someone he's known for eight years. As far as I know, I was probably one of the last people to talk to him. It was just a normal, hi, how you doing, have a good weekend thing, and I left. There was absolutely no sign of anything different about him. And Joseph says he'll never know the real reason behind what happened, but just as Pastor Brandon Shank prayed for the 12 victims killed, Joseph asked for a special prayer too. The one person that didn't get prayed for out here until we prayed in our circle was Dwayne Craddock and his family. He was a human too. And his family is hurting too. For us, it's, it's about being okay with the grief and knowing it's hard, but there's people around us that'll help carry us when we can't carry ourselves. Having those who are willing to help carry each other is a first step to moving forward. It's very important, especially at this time.
Sometimes silence and this is an invasion can ring so loud. The free speech is very well respected. In the wake of tragedy, people in Charlottesville unbelievable. Just unbelievable. Can't be quiet. It was just not a happy time. It's just a poem about um, inner strength. We call it the freedom wall where everybody is uh, free to come and express oneself and write whatever they want. The freedom wall Bashir Khalifa sees every day has taken a whole new meaning. Words scrawled on there to lift each other up following a deadly weekend in Charlottesville. Violence, he hopes, can be erased. And I grew up in Algiers uh, during the French Revolution, so um, I'm used to violence. And this reminds me of those ugly days. Derek Wong hopes the words people leave can be a start. I feel like it's just an important thing that people are able to uh, come together as a community. Words that will continue to be put into action to honor those who fought for equality and ring loud that Charlottesville writes a different story moving forward. This is a place of intelligent, tolerant, incredible people. I love this community.